Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. I'm so excited for today's video. I'm actually excited for every video that I do but today in particular because it's a good old-fashioned haul. As I'm sure you've noticed, <laughs> especially if you are connoisseur of beauty content here on YouTube, then you know that everybody and their mother put out a Sephora recommendations video. I myself included which was like an hour. Now funny story it was supposed to be like 25 minutes turned into an hour because I can't show up the hell up. Anyway, I partook in the sale and I did it in a couple of different ways. So I made four orders. <laughs> I made four orders and for the longest time nothing showed up. Just nothing, nothing showed up. The last thing that I ordered, ironically enough, was the first thing that showed up, the Makeup by Mario palette. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up in the corner there. I was like, where the hell is the rest of my stuff? Lo and behold, everything showed up today. So I get to do not like a bunch of videos, but one giant video showing you everything that I decided to spend my hard earned money on. By no means is this me showing off or anything like that. It's just, you know, I wanna show you the things that I was interested in during the sale. And I believe by the time that you see this video, the sale will still be happening so if you are interested in checking out anything from my recommendation video I'll link it down below. But before I show you the goods because let me tell you baby it's good. A word from today's sponsor. Thank you to Dipsy for sponsoring today's video. Self-care is always a top priority for me and the older I get the more I realize I need to carve out some me time. And that's where Dipsy comes into play. Dipsy transports your mind to a world where you can relax and treat yourself to your deepest desires. And you know what? Self-care has never sounded better. Dipsy is an app full of hundreds of short sexy audio stories designed by women for women and they are radically inclusive. Dipsy has stories for straight and queer listeners and 56% of the stories are voice acted by people of color. In addition they bring scenarios to life with immersive soundscapes, characters, so no matter who you're into or what turns you on, Dipsy has got you covered, baby. So let Dipsy be your go-to place to spice up your me time, explore your fantasies, or heat things up with a partner. Besides being a creative place for me to explore, which let me tell you, there are some creative things. <laughs> creative things on that app. <laughs> Dipsy also has wonderful meditations, and I love the meditations because they chill me out. And their soundscapes are top-notch. They're better than most sound machines I have ever tried. And it's a constant staple every time I go to bed. And Alex can agree. <laughs> we like the soft lulling sounds of the sea and it's perfect. Of course they also have some like sexy bedtime stories which I mean they're pretty titillating, pretty spicy. So uh, hey if you're into that like I really like totally invite you to check those out. <laughs> they're fun. <laughs> But anyway, so if you're looking for some self-care, for listeners of the show, Dipsy offers an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash Teresa. That's 30 days of full access when you go to dipsy, D-I-P-S-E-A, stories.com slash Teresa. Again, that's dipsystories.com slash Teresa. Thank you again to Dipsy for sponsoring today's video and y'all go support the sponsors that support your garbage queen. And baby, take care of yourself, okay? I'm here for you and so is Dipsy. And we just want to make sure you're taken care of. Anyway, now let's go to good old hands cam because I have a lot of stuff and it's just easier to show like right here as opposed to like over here and be like, oh my God, do you see this? Like, this is really cute. And everything looks blown out and stupid. So anyway, hands cam. Okay, so let me show you the first thing which I already unboxed, but you know, whatever. And that is this guy. So this is the Makeup by Mario eye palette or whatever, the ethereal eyes. I like her. I like her. I don't necessarily think you need to rush out and get it. I mean, unless you want it now during the sale, obviously. The formula is really fucking good and I think way better than their existing formula. So I'm really hopeful that there's going to be more of this in the future, except maybe a little bit more of a spunkier color story. I think online, this looked perfect in person still very pretty but it could be better anyway so love that i actually got a lot of makeup by mario shit so let me see if i can find all of it in one shot okay so we got a lot of this stuff um first and foremost this is fucking fantastic i've already used it because the day that this palette arrived this also arrived along with the contour stick so this is fucking everything. So this is the Mario's Lip Lift. This little kit is in the pink nude, which let me tell you, basic bitch all the way. It's actually the lipstick that I'm wearing in today's video. It's so pretty, love that. I mean, is it a color I already have? Yes, absolutely. fucking tootly okay? Does it stop me? No. <laughs> 
It's so beautiful. I like the quality, I like the formula of this, and I need a big size stat. This exceeded my expectations and then some. The next thing is the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. I know this has been around for a little bit now, and I like this. I think this is really cool. Plus, I kind of like the weird brush. It kind of reminds me of the ABH one, except the brush on this just feels a hell of a lot nicer. So I got it in the shade Light, which is basically uncooked chicken friendly. And what I like about this one is that it's a really nice neutral option. It's incredibly creamy, the formula, and I love this brush. This brush is fantastic. It really does a great job blending. Like, that looks so fucking good. So good. Love this. The other face product is the blush. Again, comes with a very similar kind of weird, I don't even know. It almost kind of reminds you of a crop circle. I don't even know if you could fucking see that, but it's giving me crop circle vibes. I'm not mad at it. And then of course, here is, what the fuck is this one? This is Dusty Rose. Wow, this is actually really, oh no. It looks a hell of a lot darker than what it is, but damn, okay. Did I make a mistake with this? <laughs> I don't know if I made a mistake with this. Oh, let's try it out. It looked a hell of a lot lighter online. Oh, you know what? No, that's good. That's good. I think this is going to pair very well together. I hope so anyway. I hope so for the love of everything. And last but not least, we have a little teeny tiny blush. And this is in the shade Desert Rose, which is very, 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 very beautiful. Feels very, very soft. Very nice. Nice little nudie pink moment. Mama likes. Can't wait to play with this in a future video. I think I might actually do like a full face of makeup by Mario because I think I pretty much have almost a full face. Maybe I'm missing an eyeliner, so maybe I'll go back and get an eyeliner and a mascara. But yeah, I want to try that out. But I actually want to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if there is anything that you really, really enjoyed by makeup by Mario, like complexion wise. Let me know because maybe I'll just go pick that up. The next two products are from Way, and these are just a godsend. If you have fine, limpless, bullshit hair like me, you're going to want to look into this. So. Way has a great fine hair shampoo and a fine hair conditioner. These are absolutely fantastic. Yes, they're $30 a piece. They're fucking expensive, but a little bit does go a long way. So you're gonna have these guys for a little bit. So mama got a lot of Tom Ford, okay? I know, I know. Mama got a lot of Tom Ford. And the first two palettes, are these guys. I am a big fan of the cream formula. I just think there's something so good about it. I know I'm the only person. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people kind of dog the shit out of those palettes. I think they're fantastic. So when I saw that they were releasing two more shades, I was like, how can I not get these? So this is the khaki palette, which admittedly, I'm the least excited about this one, but I am a slut for green. So I kind of can't wait to try it. But this is the one that I'm super excited about. This is the violet palette. This looks so goddamn good. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I made the right choice. I made the right choice. Oh, that's so pretty. I love the metallics in this collection because I feel like they really are super slutty and super, super metallic. And this feels very similar to the other quads that I have in this formula. So that's amazing. That looks awesome. And you know what, for comparison, let's go in with the khaki one. Like I said, I mean, I was a little bit less excited about this one. Oh, but that's good though. Oh, okay. You know what? Mama judged this one. Mama judged this one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm super excited for this now. Okay, I love that. You know, the green online, kind of unassuming. In person, hell of a lot better, especially when you swatch it. Holy shit. I still think the purple palette is just more my speed, but... There's something really, really beautiful about the greens though. Anyway, expect a review of these in the future. And the last Tom Ford product is this Mood Light new highlighter doohickey thing. So again, comes in a nice little drug pouch. We love that. And this is what she looks like. I had a really hard time trying to figure out what is my shade for this because all of them look oddly similar, but these look pretty good. That is perfect for me. It's a nice highlight. This is definitely a little bit too deep. So I think what we'll try to do with this one, maybe we'll do some blush draping or ultimately I could probably use it as a fucking eyeshadow, even though I don't like doing that. I like how the lighter color looks. That looks really good. Am I super excited about this actually having it in my hand? No. Um, I don't know. I kind of thought this was going to be a little bit more exciting, but hmm, all right. Mm. 
maybe this might apply beautifully to the face and it's not really giving me much. I mean, I like the lighter color. It's just I'm trying to figure out what the fuck to do with the darker color. But I guess maybe blush draping or using it as like a bronzer or a glowy bronzer could potentially work maybe. <sighs> Who knows? Anyway, moving on. Now let's move on to skincare quickly. I have actually a lot of skincare in this one. So we first have this one, which is kind of more of like an Alex get, but I do love this as well. This is Kiehl's. This is the Ultra Facial Cleanser. This is a really good no frills cleanser. Doesn't strip the skin, super comfortable, and it's my favorite product from Kiehl's. This I'm super excited to try. So this is from Dr. Jart and this is an eye cream. This is the Ceramedin line or Ceramedin. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is a brightening and moisturizing eye cream. I heard really good things about this and my favorite eye cream, unfortunately, is Chantecai and that shit's about 200 bucks. <laughs> can't fucking afford that all the time. <laughs> so I need to find things that are, I don't know, 40 bucks and see if they work. So I have high hopes for this considering I have just fallen completely head over heels for Dr. Jart and most of like their complexion-y stuff. So I'm excited to try this out. And of course, I couldn't resist this. This is the Dr. Jart Healthy Glow Kit, which by the way, this is like a perfect holiday gift. Oh, that's adorable. I love that. Okay, so first thing is this Hydra mask. Dr. Jart's masks are fucking phenomenal. I think out of all the little face masks that I've ever tried, I've always come back to Dr. Jart. Usually I find that most face masks don't really do anything for me, but when it comes to Dr. Jart, I highly recommend. I always find my skin to be like incredibly hydrating and plump after using them. So I'm excited to have this. And then of course, oh my God, I love this stuff. Yes. Okay. This is a full size of my favorite thing in my arsenal as of late. And that's the color correcting treatment. If you have redness in your skin, this will take the redness out. It neutralizes the shit out of it, but it also doesn't interfere with any other makeup. This is just phenomenal. One of the best things that I've discovered, this does an incredible job covering my redness. This I've heard really good things about too. I actually have not tried anything from the Ceramedin line. I've just heard really good things about it. And this is a moisture retention shield cream. Super excited to try this. And then last but certainly not least, we have which I've actually never tried this one. This is a tiger grass intensive mask. Oh, all right. Ooh, it's very, very fucking gooey. Anyway, we're gonna try that out and give it a whirl, but I couldn't resist. I thought this line was really good. And plus you get a full size of this guy and that just makes me a happy little camper. In the last two Dr. Jart products, this I swear by. If you're looking for a good cream cleanser, try this one out. This is the enzyme foam cleanser fucking phenomenal. I think this is like my 10th one at this point. I love this product. And this one's also a really good sheet mask. Again, if you have redness in your skin and you need your skin to calm the fuck down, this is perfect. I got two things from Ola Henriksen. This I cannot live without. Y'all know I talk about the scrub any chance I can get. I know exfoliating, especially the exfoliant scrubs are not really good for your skin. I found this one to be the best. Not only does it cleanse my skin, but it keeps it very supple and soft. It doesn't strip it. It doesn't fuck it up. This this is absolute perfection. But if you don't want to put this on your face, putting it around your arms and your hands, also beautiful. Anytime I just need like a little buffing out, this has always come in handy. And then of course, this is something for Alex. He really likes the Ola Henriksen Cold Plunge Pore Remedy Moisturizer. That boy got some big ass pores. <laughs> And it's so funny because like he, you know, doesn't really give a shit about products. I'm the one that kind of just goes here, try this, you might like it. And this is the one that he was like, you know what? I actually like this one. And I was like, <gasps> taken back by it. So this is Alex approved. So yay, love that. And then I wanted to try a new cleanser myself. And this is the Keep It Clean Hydrating Gel Cleanser from In Beauty. In Beauty is wonderful. I've heard mixed things about this though. My best friend said it stripped the shit out of his skin, but he thinks it's probably more for, you know, washing away makeup and stuff like that. So I am kind of like this. <laughs> I'm like, Ooh, this could be good. This could be bad. But in any case, we're going to try it out. I love this. Okay. I absolutely love this moisturizer and I didn't realize they had this giant size of it. Yeah, it's so good. The Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer is everything you want it to be. I think this is like either my third or my fourth purchase of this particular moisturizer. It is what my skin craves. I'm very bougie. I love my Chantecaille. I love my La Mer and all that stuff. But this is the one that I kind of always keep coming back to as much as I love those products as well. I mean, cause Chantecaille is like really top notch. This is my affordable one. And it's actually, it's still pretty fucking expensive. The big jar, I believe it's like 74. And you know what? It's worth every goddamn penny. Ah, oh, I love this stuff. This is so good. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand. Mama needs it. I also love the cap because it's magnetic. How cute. 
And the last skincare product is from Laneige, and this I just couldn't pass up. So this is a little lip care set. I was like, where's my little applicator? Y'all know I have notoriously dry lips, and I'm always looking for something to kind of keep them plump and hydrated. I heard really good things about these lip sleeping masks, so we have them in a bunch of different scents. We have like a berry, a gummy bear, a mango, vanilla, and ew, mint chocolate. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'll give that to Michael or Alex. Um, they could have that one, but I'm excited to try this one out though. I have lipstick on, so I'm not gonna put it on, but it looks like a nice little bomb. I'll let you know how these work out. All right, back to makeup. I bought a shitload of blush, okay? Like an obscene amount of blush. <laughs> and the first one, I'm so excited to try this. So this is from Fashion Fair, which by the way, thank you to everyone who told me a little bit more about this brand. I never heard of them ever in my life. And so I was like, ooh, this is fancy and new. Come to find out this has been around for fucking eons. So I'm so excited that now they're in Sephora, so they're gonna get even more love. And I have to say, their packaging is so cute. Oh my God. This is giving me kind of a little bit Tom Ford vibes in the best way possible. Like I love all Tom Ford's like white packaging. Feels like I should be doing cocaine off of something. And this does not disappoint. So this, there were three different blushes and I chose the one that I felt would probably be best suited for me. Oh, okay. So we have a nice little cream blush here and then we have a nice little powder blush. These might be a little bit too, hmm. Actually, no, not bad, not bad. I think if I just go in with an incredibly light hand and buff it out, I think these could potentially work, but these are fucking pigmented. Pigmented, 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 but in the best way possible. So this is gonna be kind of a little bit of a journey, but if I can make them work, I'll be very happy. <laughs> But so far so good. I think they're really beautiful colors and they work on my uncooked chicken ass. So that's great. Then we have another blush from Gucci. Y'all, I have a problem, okay? I just, ugh, I just want them all, okay? I'm gonna collect them all. And I could not pass this one up. This is the Tender Apricot and it looks so beautiful. I am such a fan of this formula. Ugh, absolutely beautiful. Can you even see that? <laughs> Just realized how light it was. That's so pretty. Ugh, yes, I love this formula. I think it's probably my favorite. Yep, my favorite Gucci product. Actually, nope, 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 nope. I love their satin lipsticks. Okay, so this is a close second, but this is awesome and worth the little splurge. I picked up a new blush from Simi Haze. So I am intrigued to try this brand. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God, it kind of looks like soap. <laughs> So I got it in the shade Canyon. This is the solar tint. These are fucking expensive. Actually, this kind of looks exactly like the fashion fair. Hold on, hold on. Did I literally just buy the same thing? <laughs> <sighs> it wouldn't surprise me. No, okay, okay, thank God. All right, they're like slightly different. Oof. All right, I was scared for a second. I typically go for like a pinky or like a peachy blush. So I kind of wanted it to be a little bit different, but this is very similar where it's just on one side, a cream blush. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, it's like a bomb, huh? Oh, I love the color of it though. Super pretty. And then the other side, oh, it's cream too. What? Okay, that fucking threw me for a loop. The cream side kind of reminds me of mm, like the Huda Beauty, the blush, the little glowish blushes. That's kind of like what this feels like, kind of, sort of, not really, but that's what she looks like. All right, I honestly cannot wait to put this on my face because it seems really cool. I like the packaging. I didn't get anything else from the brand because everything seems so fucking tiny and chode-like, and I'm like, why do, I don't want little dick products, okay? I want big dick products. <laughs> And so this I felt like was big dick energy. Everything else felt like mini dick energy and I'm not about that. So I'm intrigued to try this and I kind of hope that I really like the formula and I want to try it soon because if I like the formula, I want to go pick up some more shades for sure. But anyway, can't wait to play with this. Had to get some stuff from House Labs. So I wound up picking up two products. One is a bronzer and the other one is another highlighter. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's fucking pretty. So this is in the shade Light Level 2. The first one kind of seemed a little bit more warm. This one's meant for those that have like a cool tone. It's weird. It's kind of like a weird product because it kind of feels not quite like powder. Kind of also looks a little gray in some areas. This is interesting. All right, all right. Not mad at it. Not what I expected though. Hmm. I feel like in pan, it just looks so different, right? Okay, I don't know, I'm side-eyeing you a little bit. And regarding highlighters, this was another one that I just felt like I couldn't figure out what fucking shade I was. So I'm kind of hoping that this is gonna work out. I love this packaging though. The packaging, I'm so glad this 
brand rebranded because the Amazon shit was so gross. Oh my God. This though. All right. So this is in the shade Sunstone and so far. Oh, wow. This is actually really gold. Holy shit. Okay. Actually, you know, I think this is probably one of the first golds that I feel like doesn't leave a cast on me. It's really blending very beautifully into my hand. Oh, I like that. Thank God I live in a fucking warmer climate. <laughs> So I feel like if I would just be in New York with this, I'd be like, where the fuck are you going, bitch? It's like literally negative six degrees outside. <laughs> Thank God I'm in Florida, holy shit. That's really pretty. I'm excited for this, not so excited for this. <sighs> so maybe this will look a little bit differently on the face, but mm -hmm. kind of like meh about this one. I didn't pick up any eyeshadow palettes, but I did pick up this smush box apparently from the brand Kulfi. I wanted to try their concealer, but their concealer is just not meant for uncooked chicken, which is totally fine. So I figured I want to try something from this brand. So let's try Tiger Queen. Apparently this eyeliner is supposed to be the fucking tits. I'm excited to try it. I have very, very, very sensitive, watery eyes. Things never last unless it's Lethal Cosmetics or Melt Cosmetics or Inklot. So I am intrigued to see what this is all about. This was like the, my favorite color. I think if you have blue eyes, it's kind of like mandatory to kind of get like these kind of like lighter brown reddish colors because it really makes your eyes pop. And we all love an eye popping moment. I don't know why I just thought of like Ramona from the... <laughs> The Real Housewives. Here, I'll put the picture here. It's literally what I thought about. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, anyway. Before I get into foundations and concealers, I had to get, this is from Sol de Janeiro, and this is the Black Amber Plum Vanilla Woods whatever whatever scent. I fucking love this scent so much. Love it to pieces. So happy to have a big one of this. Had to pick up this from NARS. I love this foundation. It's so good. This is the light reflecting foundation. If you are like me on cooked chicken, my shade is 2.5. This is fantastic. This is probably one of my favorite foundations I've found. And I'm kind of like, I don't know, like we're right over here with this one. So I was like, I need a backup stat. This does not disappoint. This is beautiful. It's radiant. I don't have a bad thing to say about this foundation. So I was super excited to get this for 20% off. And then I decided to pick up a bunch of Sephora collection stuff because why the fuck not? Those are on sale for 30% off. So I was like, Let's give it a whirl. So we have the Best Skin Foundation. This is the Longwear Foundation. Then we have like, this is basically like the Dior Air Flash. And then we have a concealer. So let's try it out. Oh, you know what? That's really light. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> It feels incredibly creamy, but I think this is like really, you know what? Actually, 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 I think it's a very good match. And I say that because I have been swatching shit on this hand, so I probably have fucking remnants of stuff, which is making me think that I have much darker skin than I should. But if you look at it, actually my skin tone, holy shit. Am I that white? I guess I am. Okay, so this is a really good match. This is 04N. That's actually a really good fucking match. Holy shit. All right. So let's try this guy. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Really, you dumb bitch. Come on. Really? <gasps> oh yeah, that's air flash, baby. That's air flash. That's actually not bad though. That's really not bad. I definitely think this one the best skin ever. Hell of a better match though. Just by comparison, like this obviously looks super fucking yellow, but that's not bad though. All right, we're gonna give this bitch a whirl. But that sucks though that the fucking cap fell off. <sighs> All right, and then let's go with the concealer. So this concealer is meant to go with this foundation. So again, I got it in the shade 04N. Oh yeah, that's good. Looks pretty good over here. Yo, look at Sephora coming out with a nice little concealer. Feels really nice and hydrating. Definitely going to be throwing this up in a try-on. We need to know if we have all been collectively sleeping on this brand, but so far so good. Oh, this is actually not from the Sephora brand, but this is just amazing anyway. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Concealer Stick. Fantastic. I needed to buy a backup of this. I'm in the shade Porcelain. It looks pretty good under the eyes, but I love it for all over the face. It's fantastic. And the last things I got from the Sephora brand are these lip sticks because I was feeling really nostalgic while talking to my patrons. Maybe I was a little high, but I was 
reminiscing about how when I was in high school, I would only pretty much just exclusively wear brown lipstick. And I was like, you know what? I want to try it because the brand of choice for me was the actual Sephora brand. And I want to say that one of these colors could potentially be the same color, but I don't know. My memory is not as good. Fucking impossible to open up. Holy shit. Really pain in the ass to open, but totally fine. Oh, that's so good. That's so fucking good. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God, I think this might be it. Is it? It feels like it is. This is number three. Oh, I love that. And then the other one I have is number six. The packaging is really awful on this and it's a shame. Oh, those are so good. Oh, they're like literally the same color. <laughs> I am not disappointed though. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Oh, I love that. Love that. Love that. Okay, you know what, Sephora? I might have been sleeping on you for some time. You're not that bad. You're not that bad. Anyway, these are all the things that Ugh, I picked up. Y'all, if that is not a good haul, just saying, okay? I don't disappoint. <laughs> Anyway, now I want to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you picked up anything during the sale. And if you did, let me know what it is because I love hearing from you and I'm also very, very nosy. Again, thank you so much Dipsy for sponsoring today's video. And y'all, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and YouTube members. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really trashy, filthy, really gross, really nasty. Garbage butter float. Couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. And I just want to gobble you all up so you can live inside me and make it be one. If you want to know any of the products that I picked up, I will make sure to link them down below. And with that said, I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.